Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to set up your R4 DS, Revolution 4 DS. Basically what this is, is it is a device that plugs into your Nintendo DS or DS Lite. And it may work with the DSi too, I'm not sure if you need a different one for that. But what it does is allow you to run ROMs that you download on your DS. So what you're going to need is for this is three things. You're going to need the R4 cartridge, you can see it. There it says Revolution for DS. You're going to need that, which you can buy for around 8 to 10 dollars online. Look for it. R4 DS or Revolution 4 DS. You're going to need a 1 gigabyte or 2 gigabyte micro SD card. This is a 2 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD card. And you're going to need a USB micro SD reader. There's an alternative for this. You can also use a regular SD adapter if your computer has some sort of SD reader, but many don't. So for this example, we'll be using the USB micro SD. You can see that the micro SD card plugs in there. So it goes like that, and then you can just drag files onto it through USB. So now I'm going to be showing you where you get the files you have to use and how you download them. There should be a download link in the description. But yeah, and I'll cut to a screen recording on my computer. So now what you're going to do is you're going to want to download the RAR file from the link in the description and then just extract it. And you should get a folder that's called English 1.18. And so just open that up, open that folder up, and you'll get these files. So for now, you can now plug in your USB micro SD reader with the micro SD card plugged in correctly. And it should pop up with the name no name, because you haven't given it a name yet. The name is not important. But what these are, you need these three files. And this Moon SHL is a media player, so if you want to be able to play MP3 files, then you should drag that in too. But just select all of them and drag them over to your no, your USB micro SD reader. It should be about 8.5 megabytes or so. And once it's all copied in, you can just eject that. And now we'll go on to the next part. So now that you've got the correct files on your USB micro SD reader, just take out the micro SD card. You can put the USB reader aside for now. Then take your R4, and if you look on the back, there should be a little diagram of how to plug the micro SD in. But you should have the text on the micro SD facing you with the R4 facing away. And then just push it in. You won't really feel a click, but just make sure it's level along here. So now, take your DS or DS Lite and just plug it in. There should be more of a snap than you're used to, but now have your DS turned off. And when you turn it on, it'll go to the DS loading screen and then it'll just cl show quick loading and your R4DS should pop right up. So now, if you want to play a game, just tap on games and you'll see this. Right now, there are no games on here. So I'll be showing you how to use the R4DS in the next video. But thanks for watching and please subscribe.